Watch out, kid cat. Get in here. What the? How you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not at work today. Um, something about myself that many of you probably don't know. I have a medical condition called gout. And it's a, a deal where I eat too much food with high protein or whatever. And it creates a thing called uric acid. And it gets in my bloodstream. And my kidneys can't process it properly. So what happens is that uric acid settles in the, the joints of my lower extremities and crystallizes. And it's like shards of glass in the cartilage between the joints. It's extremely painful. And I've had it for years, managed it with diet pretty good, but I had a flare-up and it was a bad one. So uh, all vacation I was dealing with it and I went back to work yesterday and it got real bad overnight. So. I had to go to the doctor today and I got two shots. Here's a picture. <laughs> Don't look. And so it just so happens that while I'm out running errands, I had to go pick up a bunch of prescriptions and uh, I sell stuff on Reverb too. Some of the stuff that I buy, I'll turn around and sell it after I get my use out of it. And so I had an item sell. So since I'm off, I mean, I'm not you know bedridden I can move around I just can't have a shoe on my foot so I went and mailed this package and but by the way the shots really did help uh, it was steroids and cortisone or something like that but anyways so I mailed, went and mailed that and then I had ordered something off of eBay it's right here Fragile and uh, FedEx delivered it to the wrong address <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go through all kinds of changes and drama to go get this package. They delivered it to an address that I hadn't lived in, in in over four years. So thankfully it was there and the people were nice and they gave me the package. And then I had to go to the pharmacy and get my meds. And now I'm home. Package in hand. I'm going to open it and let you see what I got. Here we go. All right, so here it is. eBay tape on it, that's kind of cool. Now the address was supposed to be a P.O. box. More my address is a P.O. box. And come to find out, FedEx doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes. So when it said it was delivered, and I go to the post office and it ain't there, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> so this pack, this, what this is, it's about me reliving some glory days. Now, back in the 80s, as a young teenager, getting into guitars, going to pawn shops and shopping for guitars, I remember this amplifier. And here it is. Let's get it out of here. Let's see what I can get out of here. Styrofoam. It's it, a thin bubble wrap. <laughs> I'll show you this. Nothing else. Well, I guess there's a piece of styrofoam down there. That's something. There's the feet right up against the box. And another styrofoam. Nothing up top, so we could flop up and down. But that's it right there. 35 watt tube cruncher. Gorilla. That's right. Now, hold on for the best part. We're living the glory days, y'all. Nostalgia. Hold on. Oh, What's wrong, kitty cat? I didn't mean to scare you. Now, the sweet part of this is, is that this amp, tube cruncher, gorilla, Metal corners on it, 35 watts. What I really want you to see is there's the original speaker, just like the picture on eBay. 
this cord out of there for punctures of speaker, big dummies. What I really want you to see is that. 1986. I was 16 years old in 1986. Glory days, baby! Oh yeah! Let's see how this sucker sounds. Just want to put this on here. Ooh, there's some spider webs. Just want to see if there's a puncture in the speaker. Don't look like there is. Gorilla. Nothing screams like a gorilla. That's right. Ooh, perritos. All right. I want to see what this thing sounds like. I'm not even going to bother micing it right now. I'll record it later. I just want to make sure the darn thing works. This is my unboxing video, y'all. That's how I do it. Good Lord. I'm all hopped up on gout medication. <laughs> all right. Get a little outlet strip down here. Plug this rascal in. If I reach it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm struggling. Get in there. Oh, you piece of... I think I got it. Is it? Got it. All right, now I need an instrument cable. What in the heck? I'm in here. I don't got a guitar cable. Hold on. All right, I got a guitar cable. I just want to plug it in before I actually turn it on. Oh, it's the bane of my existence. Tangled up guitar cables. All right, hopefully this is in tune. I was playing it earlier. I love this Yamaha Pacifica. Thankfully, I already had a guitar out because I was jamming until all this chaos ensued. Turn this down. All right, I'm going to turn. It's got, uh, you probably can't see that. Let me change cameras here. Alright, so it's got bass, mids, treble. I'm just going to turn it all to unity, straight up and down. Turn that down. Let's turn that down too. Let's see if that even comes on. Woo, red light. Red light, y'all. We might be in business here. Alright. First sounds. This is my first time hearing it right out the box. Scratchy. It's 1986. <laughs> Ooh. It works. <laughs> now this was it, back in the day when I was buying these in the pawn shop. They weren't very much, 20, 30 bucks, if I remember correctly. I got this for, I got it for fifty dollars off eBay, and uh, they shipped it quick too. It's in pretty good shape. Last year I was looking at these. I've been looking at them for a while. They had one in red Tolex. I wish I'd have bought it, but I didn't. I kept putting it off, putting it off, saying, "Why do I want that? Why do I want that?" I mean, it ain't a great amp or anything. It ain't like it's a super great amp for recording. But I sure wanted one. It sounds like junk. Like this audio is not that great but I got plans if I can figure out that scratchiness and you know overcome that 
get my settings right. I'm going to mic this amp and I'm going to record it and I'm going to see what old school meets new school can sound like. That's right. Reliving the glory days, y'all. Gorilla 1986 TC35 Tube Cruncher Gorilla Practice Amp on eBay. I got one. 1986. Alright guys, I got a jam. Thanks for watching. Peace!